said many, many poor, many, many poor people. I realize, of course, it's no shame to be poor, but it's no great honor either. <sighs> ah, so what would have been so terrible if I had a small fortune? <clears throat> If I were a rich man, yabba dabba 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 do. Wait a minute, this is like Fred Flintstone. No, I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to be uh, a Jewish man, not uh, not Fred Flintstone. Yabba dabba do. Never mind. Uh, we got the words mixed up. Oh, oh, uh. All day long, I baby, baby, bum, baby, baby, bum. If I were a wealthy man, let me just adjust the camera angle a little bit. I'm a little bit late because I was up on the roof. It was very dangerous. Uh, if I were a wealthy, uh, uh, wouldn't have to work hard. Yabba dabba 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 dum. If I were a baby, baby, rich little, 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 little man, I build a big house with rooms by the dozen right in the middle of the town fine tin roof with real wooden floors below there would be one long staircase just going up and one even longer coming down and one more leading nowhere just for show and turkeys and geese and ducks for the time. No idea how you're supposed to say all these things in that tiny, tiny fraction of a second. For the town to see and hear that it's a mastery of topo. Squawking just as noisily as they can. Ah, oh, zombie turkey. He's, he's not been out for ages. He's enjoying his freedom. Oh, zombie turkey. Nice to see you again. That was from last year's show. Two years show. Brilliant. Ah, uh, lost for our squawking just as noisily as they can. And each loud of the Gibeon cow be a girl would like the trumpet on the ear as if to say here lives a wealthy man. Join in if I were a rich man. Yabba dabba 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 doo dum. All day long I biddy biddy bum. If I were a wealthy if I were a wealthy man. I wouldn't have to work hard. Yabba dabba 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 dum. If I were a bitty bitty rich, little 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 man. I see my old wife, my Goldie, looking like a rich man's wife with a proper double chin. I'm not sure I want the wife with the double chin, but anyway, it's just the word of the song. Supervising meals to her heart's delight. I see her putting on airs and strutting like a peacock. Oh, what a happy mood she's in. Screaming at the servants day and night. One final time. If I were a rich man. All day long, I biddy biddy bum. If I were a wealthy man. I wouldn't have to work hard. Yabba dibba dibba, yabba dabba 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 do. If I were a bitty bitty rich, little 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 little. Mazel tov and welcome to the show, everybody. Here it is, Topol Chaim Topol. Sadly it departed just this week, but back for one final show just before I go up to the big roof in the sky. I hope you liked my picture uh, advertising the show up from the roof here in uh, Cold Cross. I was four stories high. You have no idea how scared I was. Sorry, the show is a little bit late starting, but I had to crawl through a tiny little loft space and get up through the trap door into the uh, ceiling. The ceiling? The roof? It's very, very windy up there, very dangerous. I don't know how Topple does it, playing the fiddle and not falling off the roof. Anyway, I managed to get back down, despite the fact that I possibly broke my foot last night. Uh, climbing on a chair, not not a roof, just a simple chair to fix a light in the in the uh, Kelly I was doing in Glasgow, and I fell off the chair and broke my foot. I'm pretty sure it's broken, um, and it was bloody hard to get that boot on. I don't think I'll get it off later. But uh, 
Never mind, everything for the show, all for the art, the artistry. Complete artistry on the show. Actually, artistry. Uh, anyway, I made it back down through the little space and carried the ladder and the fiddle down. Anyway, that's the only use for a fiddle. Yes, uh, mind you, I made the wrong career choice. I played the accordion, so that's why I'm poor. If I'd been a fiddler, what would they strut around like the peacocks, right enough? They strut around, they make the big money, they have the superstar lifestyle being chauffeured in their Bentleys around Edinburgh, they pass my street all the time, the fiddle players, very annoying. I'm just pedaling past on my tricycle. Ha! Who needs money, eh? Ha! As long as you're happy. Ha! Right, okay, of course I've spent all my time making a beer, a silly beard and costume. And I've got this lovely hat in the charity shop yesterday which made me think of Topo. Uh, and uh, so I didn't have time to do any music, of course, so I just have to make it up as usual. But never mind, uh, there'll be something hiding in there. Uh, I'll just think of it very soon. But, uh, oh, this beer, by the way, I asked for tips for more beer. Nobody gave me money for a long time. Help me become rich man. Yes, this is my last beer. This is a white beer that I had to cover in boot polish, honestly. It's very stinky now. Uh, anyway, better than putting boot polish in my hair like I had to do last week. Uh, but I'm almost out of beer. I didn't have a single grey beer, only one. One white one I had to do this, but it looks very convincing. I think you like I think it's good. I like Let me try it. Oh, leg very sore. Foot very sore. Let me try that. Dumba, dumba, yum. Oh, da 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 Lovely shirt made by the wonderful Nancy Bell in America. It's actually a Kaylee shirt, but it works very well for the old uh, Jewish man. Oh, speaking of Jewish man, how about a little rendition of Havana Gila? <laughs> hey, you like my gap in my teeth? I painted them. Permanent marker. A little work. A little worry did not come off after the show. Actually, it's a Urachaim Bleb Sameach. Sorry, it was too small to actually read in the paper. I prefer my friend Graham E. Pearson's version that I used to do with them. Have a tequila, have a tequila, have a tequila, have another one. Much easier, but uh, it works well. Yes, there is the full, look at that, the full Chaim Tobo gap between the teeth. I was actually born with a gap between the teeth like that, but I had years of worth the laundry to get rid of it and now look what I've done, I've just replaced it in seconds. All that work wasted. It probably will be wasted because I'll never get that off. It's a permanent marker. What an idiot. Right. How about a little Gallic Waltz? <laughs> Thank you. 
chainsaw here in the background. It's not actually a uh, prop for today's show. No, I just happen to have it on the table to remind me to uh, sharpen chainsaw with little uh, sharpening, uh, what is it? Sharpening stick. Little file. Or file you to go, <laughs> and all the little teeth takes ages. That's a, ter that's a terrible job for a poor man like myself. If I was a rich man, I would pay some other idiot to go, <laughs> all day. Anyway, I've not got around to it yet. So, I just got that there to remind me. It's not a prop for the show. Of course, chainsaws were not around in, uh, whenever Fiddler on the Roof was set. It was pretty mechanical. There were dead horses and things. Anyway, speaking of horses and things, we have my loyal dog. Once again, this dog I can recommend to you. A stuffed dog. Much easier to keep than a real dog. Uh, doesn't eat, doesn't poop, uh, doesn't need any love of attention. Uh, doesn't matter if bounce off the table. No SSPCA come to the door. Wonderful. They're very rewarding. Good company. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, <laughs> almost time for me to finish because I've not finished my breakfast. I can't believe it's two in the afternoon and I've not finished my breakfast yet. Because uh, I was so busy getting ready for the silly show. Right. Uh, what should we do? Something exciting. Uh, okay. Something exciting, huh? Can't remember anyway. We're off. We're out of here. But just before we go, I'd like to tell you 
other thing about the uh, the gig last night in Glasgow where I fell off the chair, it was a, a night of disasters that I managed to also kick the bucket. Uh, but luckily I'm still here. Well, Topol's not. <laughs> he, he really did kick the bucket this week. I know, I kicked the bucket uh, behind stage. Uh, the place was a health and safety nightmare. See, Glasgow, they don't care about health and safety. No church hall, I won't tell you about it is because I don't want don't to put the... I don't want to put the, uh, them in trouble with the authorities, but uh, obviously it was a Catholic church, Catholic church, so... Uh, anyway, the, uh, they had a leak, uh, a discovered, coming from the roof, uh, some kind of pipe, probably, because it was inside, uh, on the st step up to the stage, which was in darkness because the lights were out, probably because of the leak had shorted the bulb, and uh, somebody had placed, halfway up the little five-step staircase, a bucket to catch the drips. So when I went up to round the back in the darkness to the stage, I managed to put my foot in the bucket of water and knock the whole thing over. Luckily there was some mops there, so I cleaned it all up. And then uh, after that, I fell off the chair trying to adjust the lights, which was wonky. Again, faulty equipment. I just left for muggins here to try and sort it out. Ended up breaking my foot. I, thought, I really genuinely do think I've broken my foot, but it's very sore anyway. It's either, it's either broken or it's very bad sprain. Should have seen me clambering on the roof there. Of, of all the days to have to get up on the roof. Uh, things I do for the show. Anyway, not only that, there was a, uh, there was a, a very, very drunk man, one of the drunkest men I've ever seen uh, at the party. He was uh, he was an older gentleman, uh, but he was a very big gentleman. I mean, big in every way. He was giant, tall, and he was very, very bulky. And he was very, very uh, swaying, uh, staggering around, tried to join in with Circassian Circle, but gave up before we even began. Uh, spent most of the rest of the night leaning at the side of the stage on some kind of pillar, trying to trying to sober up. Failed miserably, and uh, exactly as my friend William, the bass player, predicted, he then crashed sideways uh, uh, during the interval uh, into the speaker stand on the right-hand side of the stage, knocking knocking the speaker flying ten yards across the floor, bouncing and this, and bending the stand, and then collapsing Spread Eagle. And the floor where everybody ran to his aid. Did they run to the aid of my PA system? No, did they help? I, I had to run to it. It's like, never mind him, he's an idiot. I believe my stuff. Anyway, amazingly, the sound was still coming out of the speaker as I picked it up and put it back in and I bent the stand back into shape and put it back. It rattles now, that speaker. It rattles, but it still works. So, ah, the, uh, the trials and tribulations of being a kicking musician. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, folks. Um, Still enjoying doing this show. It's, uh, I don't know why I'm doing it, but it's good fun. Uh, we'll see you next week for goodness knows what. Goodbye. Ah, oh, if I was a rich man, oh God, I wish I was a rich man. What did I do with that? Oh, I'm going back up again. Oh, jeez. Oh, if I was a rich man, any fool can play the fiddle. Ah, let's get up onto my little roof here. Oh. Oh, it's agony. Jeez, I bet I'm going to the doctor. <clears throat> if I was a rich man, do, 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 I'm quite good at this. Oh my God, I don't believe it. I've left it on again. <laughs>